Hey guys, it's Leanne and Simon on Loving Life Now for today's topic, Attention All Leaders. Well, I'm here, Lee. I'm a leader. You're a leader. I decided to I'm show a, up. I'm your follower. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to show up. What makes a leader? Someone that's got followers. Someone that's got followers. Mm -hmm. we got a lot of followers. We do have some followers. All right. So a big I, welcome I to everyone for joining us this evening on Loving Life Now Facebook page. We're going live with our great topic this evening, Attention All Leaders. You know the drill. As you join us, uh, pop your details in the comments. Let us know where you're streaming in from. And um, I trust that you're not freezing cold. We are. <laughs> and we're also live over here on TikTok. Hey, guys. Um, all right. So uh, pop your details in. Let us know. Say hello. Let us know where you're streaming in from. Karen says, hi, guys. Looking great from Aratula. Michelle Collins. Aratula. Hello on the Gold Coast. Joe Newell and also on the Gold Coast. Uh, Joe said she's a follower. You're a follower. Good. <laughs> Cheryl Mapp. Hello, You're Cheryl. You're also from, a leader, Joe, too. Uh, hello, Cheryl from Sydney. Peggy says, hi, guys. Uh, from a very chilly Perth. It's about the same temperature over there, I believe, Peggy. Hi from freezing Melbourne. Agatha. Stephen, hello from Aratula. Joe's freezing on the Gold We're Coast. We're all freezing. Shani says, hi from <laughs> Sydney. Sue Robson on the Gold Coast. And it's cold at Main Beach. <laughs> Pacific Span Pacifico, good evening from the beautiful south coast of New South Wales, and I'm sure it's cold there. Yes. Tara, hello from Canberra. Oh. That will be freezing. <laughs> Hi, guys, uh, from Canberra. Bernie is trying to keep warm by doing backflips in Burley. And uh, Michelle no. Peel's joined us and watching. Uh, jo Newland says, whoop, whoop. Yep, I am. She's a leader. <coughs> Excuse me. She's um, too. So we've got a great, a great topic, but let us know where you're streaming in from. Michelle Peel says, hello there, guys. Uh, Shell from Chili Corundum. It's, it's chilly everywhere. It's Is chilly. everyone not chilly? I need to, like, warm my hands. I need gloves or something. We have got a chilly week ahead of we've us. We've got freezing dips like East Gipsy. Dave Miller here. says, good evening, guys. Dave Miller, nice and chilly in the Adelaide Hills. Oh, it would be. Good wine drinking with a fireplace. So we're coming there next month. We are. We're going to freeze. Hopefully Dave's coming yeah. to the Adelaide to join us and catch up. Pacifico, 10 degrees. There, 10 degrees where on the south coast of New South Wales. <coughs> Already. Well, we're not getting that cold here. I think it's meant to be... It was that this it's morning. It's 10 tonight. It's meant to be 10 tonight. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's 10 this morning. But we're in for a couple of 8 degrees nights here <laughs> on the Gold Coast. Do you believe it? We're going to have to yeah, pull, like, out, pull out the winter woolies. I've got socks on and slippers and God knows what. So. You haven't got thermals on, have you? No. <laughs> I, haven't, I don't even own thermals. Are you so. ruining our setup Sorry, here? I'm just moving. Doing? Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. So we are we are saying attention all leaders. So if you're a leader, you're in the right place. Well, if you're here, you're a leader. So well done, guys. Well yep. done. Uh, attention all leaders. We've still got people pinging in. Mark, I saw from Mark and Sandra. Monica, hello. Brett Hudson from Brisbane, cold Brisbane. We've got um, Francis Simpson. Hello from Ballarat. Oh my goodness. It'll be freezing in Ballarat. Uh, Michelle Peel, we're having Melbourne weather here. We are indeed. Ah, Kent, good day, so. Kent. No. <laughs> Hi guys, finally back from the new Facebook account. My previous account got hacked. Ah, oh, good. Oh, well, uh -huh. good you got good you got fixed. All right. right. Well, time to get started, I think, before we freeze. Now, I look like I'm blending in, but I do have colour. You do. You've got stripes. <laughs> I have stripes. See? And pockets. And, and it pockets? has pockets. Oh, it does. The pants have pockets. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, thanks for joining us on our Facebook Live this week. A um, couple of announcements. Okay. So, well, our Facebook Lives oh. are not going to be happening on Tuesday nights. No, guys. Um, change. Change as of next week, we've, we've got some new business commitments that have taken priority on a Tuesday night. So, yes. we're shifting our Facebook Live to Wednesday nights. But then yes. that also competes with two so of our be, other businesses. It won't be things. every Wednesday evening. Might be every second. Maybe. We might or we'll, once a month. Or we might, we'll have to do it every second. We'll see. We'll We've see. got to finish the topics that we're working on. We'll see how we go. We'll we'll, we'll put some. Um, so our goal. Well, let's, let's put it this way. The goal will be to do it every second week for now. But we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. So we also because... have trips booked in and other things as well. So. And we've got some pretty hefty commitments coming up with our business. Um, so our Facebook Lives are going to have to shift and we want to get through the last book of action, which we're talking about at the moment. So that's really important. Um, and then we've gone through the whole program. Of course, we're up to episode 115. So we've been doing these for... A little while. A little while, right? Well, we do what one a week and we're up to episode 115. So we've been doing them over two years, yeah. two and a half. And of course, in between some of our trips and travel, 
There might have been the odd one where we didn't do it and birthdays. Yeah. So, so anyway, so just keep an eye out on our Facebook page and, two and, and we will hours. let you know when we're doing it. I reckon that's pretty good consistency. We've been doing this every Tuesday night for two and a half well, years. Had a couple of weeks off and now days. our business takes priority with something else and we have to change our Facebook And you know what? Life. If you miss it and you can't make it Wednesday <laughs> night, listen to the recording. So Absolutely. The videos will be up. We'll work it out. We'll yeah. work out. We might, we might do it. We might do it at a different time. We'll see. We could do it. We don't like, know. We haven't worked it out yet. No. <laughs> At this point, it'll be next Wednesday, but that's as far as we've gotten. <laughs> well, it's definitely not tomorrow night, right? Because tomorrow night is state of origin, and I'll be glued to the television, um, barracking for the Queensland Maroons and Billy Slater's uh, stick together Maroons, who are going to take it out and beat those Blues. Yeah. No, we can't do six a.m. Kent. That will not work. <laughs> no, six a.m. won't work. We have already had court training calls at 6 a.m. Well, so some, some days a week. Most days. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's jump into our topic anyway. Sunday morning from Burley Beach. Uh, okay. <coughs> well, it's not every Sunday that we... Well, a lot of, a lot of the times, isn't it? We'll, we'll, have, a look. we'll have a look at our, our schedule and yeah. see how we're going to we'll fit it in. We'll let you know. We'll advise. But as of, as of next week, it'll be Wednesday. Yes, and we're Queenslanders too, guys. I yeah. can see a few comments about yeah. So go the Maroons. Go the Mighty Maroons tomorrow night. So uh, we'll be... Cheering them on, and uh, we've got some friends coming over to join us, and we're having footy food, we're doing meat pies and I didn't party. see you say that, uh, Cara, no, go to Blues. We're what? doing sausage well, rolls, and, and uh, I've got my maroon <laughs> scarf ready for tomorrow. I don't, oh, can I wear your scarf? What am I going to wear? Your jersey. I haven't got a maroon jersey. Oh. You need to buy me one. <laughs> <coughs> and then you and then you can have a scarf. Oh, I might have two scarves. Where, where do you get the jersey from? Um, actually, best one. They got a whole heap of. Um, they got a whole heap of uh, uh, Queensland well, and New South Wales stuff, which is exclusive to them. So we could check that out. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, we'll do that. Anyway, all right. So let's talk about our topic. Attention, all leaders. Welcome to episode one one five. One one five. All right. The law of attraction dictates. That our attention, our attention is the, our greatest asset. I would have thought we've got better, greatest assets. I do. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I do. <laughs> well, sure, I'm sure I've got better, greater assets than just my attention. But the law of attraction dictates that the, our attention, each, each and every one of us, our attention is our greatest asset. Now, the ability for us to focus our attention at will is the single most important thing we do. Do you agree with that? Yes. Yeah, so during the day, we put our attention into areas of things, right? Well, some of us get distracted too, onto other things, and then go back and round about. Who are you saying gets distracted? I didn't mention any names. <laughs> are you suggesting that I get distracted yes. on things? I can do sometimes, yes. Very easily. <laughs> I'd be like, you're doing a post and I can hear like you're playing videos. <laughs> like, you're doing a post. You know, I'm doing a post videos. on Facebook. <laughs> oh, I got distracted. <laughs> oh, now, I'm in, now I'm in Facebook watch mode. All right, so the ability to focus our attention at will is the single most important thing that we do because we choose where we put our energy and where we put our attention. Yep, absolutely. Okay. We learn to focus minimal amounts on certain tasks and on certain activities. Yeah, absolutely. So we don't put all of our energy in one basket no. or all of our attention in one basket. So we rarely learn to focus an abundance of our attention on any one thing. So we spread our attention across multiple things. Yep. Especially being a parent and a business owner yeah, and a absolutely. husband and a wife and a sister and a daughter and a mother, yeah. you know, whatever yeah. else you can think of. Yeah. So we do. We spread our attention across multiple things. Now, there are also things that we could learn not to give too much attention to. Mm -hmm. That's important, isn't it? Yes. Your attention can and does give life. <laughs> yeah. So what we put our attention on, we give life That's to. Right. Well, we give it energy, we give it life. Yep. Um, and of course, what we pay attention to grows. Oh, sorry, your attention can and does give life, which is what you said. But then what you pay attention to grows in your experience. Yes. So you put your energy and attention to something, you're going to create it. Mm -hmm. So it becomes real, becomes a reality. Yep. 
Um, Brett to... says, no attention to the negative things well, around Well, a lot us. of people do do that, and then they bring it into reality and make it real, right? Well, they, so. where, you, where you focus your energy and your attention is what you get more of, right? Mm-hmm. And even if it's not what you want. So if you're caught up in the negative <laughs> spiral, then you will attract more negativity to yourself. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. You, your, your attention is magical. And we talk about magic a bit. You know, you've got to live in a world of magic, right? Mm-hmm. You've got to believe that, that you can create magic in your own life. So what you put your attention on is magical. Yep. What and where are you focusing your attention? Yeah, so ask yourself, what am I focusing my attention on and where am I focusing my attention? Because we build skills through our ability to pay attention. The more attention you can pay, the quicker and better you can build your skill. Yeah, so the more energy, the more attention we put in those things, the more we develop ourselves. Yep. Ultimately, right? And the more attention you have to pay towards a person, the more you can co-create who they will be in your presence. Mm -hmm. So if we treat people with respect, with love, with friendship, if we're nice... Then we get more of that back. Yeah. But if we treat people um, like we pick on them, we highlight them, all their bad things. Tell them how crap they are. You always do it like mm. that. It annoys me. Then what's going to happen? You're going to get more of it because yeah, they're going to feel they're gonna continue victimized to be that way around you. But then they'll react to you. So mm. then all of a sudden they'll start saying, "Well, you're not perfect either." Mm. And then give you Pointing all the... back. Yeah, that's right. Point the finger back at you. Say, yeah. what about you do this and you do that? Mm-hmm. So it can also be, you know, it can also be a <coughs> negative. And of course, we want to avoid the negative. So the more, the more you can co-create uh, with people in your presence, the better. But the more you can see them grow and become more successful. So sometimes uh, as we focus attention on things... We can focus our attention in developing people. Yes. Right? And that's where leadership comes from. Mm-hmm. So if we're willing to work with people and develop them, then we can be a part of their growth and their success story. Yes. Yep. Um, and then that's really important in leadership. It is. Well, yep. it's what makes a leader, right? A leader Has is followers. somebody who's got followers, <laughs> but a leader also leads. They lead by example. Yes. And they, uh, they want to grow and, and develop people so that people can be better versions and of themselves. inspire other people, right? So your attention is dictated by whether you are playing a big game in life or a small game. So how much attention do you give to play a bigger game? Or are you giving little attention and playing a small game mm-hmm. in life? Yeah. So I know which one I'd like to be playing. Do you want to read the quote out, Lee? It is not only what we do, but also what we do not do for which we are accountable. Yeah, it's a good quote, right? It's not only what we do, but it's also what we do not do for which we're accountable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think understanding what we don't do, right? And we talk about playing a big game or a small game. So big game people are going to be accountable for their actions Mm -hmm. and they're going to go out there and take action. Yeah. Uh, People that are playing a small game in life are going to be somewhat lazy, um, don't worry about it, I'll do it tomorrow, it can wait, um, so things aren't really important, they're not priorities, um, I'll get to it when I get to it, you know, and that's playing a small game, because if you're on purpose and you want to create something better for yourself, you'll just complete the task, we've yeah. spoken about that, you know, completing tasks and, and getting through things. So, <coughs> so certainly we can be building our skills. A person can become better at being a good leader. Yeah, so leadership is de- is about developing yourself as well. So we can always be developing ourselves, we can always be learning, and we can always be getting better and better um, in the way that we lead, in the way that yes. we become a leader. Um, what does Karen say? Karen says, have ownership over all of what you do and what we don't do. Absolutely. So once you become better, you can grow your success exponentially. So once you become better as a leader, of course you're going to grow your success. Yes. Right? And it's unlimited. <coughs> um, good leadership is the most valuable commodity on earth. Yeah. So ask yourself, are you, are you being a leader in what you do? Are you leading by example? Are you showing others the way? Are you being an example to your 
your significant other by just getting up and being loving and being motivated? Is that who you're being? Are you an example to your children? Um, do you stand up for them? Mm. You know, had a situation, didn't I, where I had to email my son's school mm. about a teacher. And I said, you know, that when he told me some of the stuff that went on, I said, that's not, that's not on. That's not good behavior at all. No. So I've got your back and I'm going to, I'm going to take it further in a really empowering way and, uh, and talk to the, um, and notify the school about it so that they can then investigate what, uh, you know, the teacher's actions and what, um, what they were doing. Mm. So, you know, look, <coughs> I don't, uh, I think you've got to be a pretty special person to be a teacher. And uh, if your teaching skills are waning, then maybe you shouldn't be a teacher. Uh, maybe it's time to change careers. Um, because certainly, you, right, it takes a lot. It, does. it takes a lot to put up yeah. with teenagers and schools. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, so what we're we talking about. Is it a skill? It's a skill. Yeah, John. It's a skill worth learning and benefits go deeper than just success in business. Yeah, so being a leader is a skill that we can learn and we can create. And of course, um, not only do we create success by being a leader, but we also, we learn new skills, right? Yeah. And as you said, it goes deeper than just, than just being the leader. So understanding this concept and what we've spoken about, about putting attention on things, um, allows you to build a big organization in business and build a fantastic life for yourself. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. What's with us coffee? No, I don't know. Well, I do know because I've just sick. got this persistent We're cough. Not it's the cold air. It's is, making my throat go funny. It's annoying me. All right. So, um, so being a leader, you know, are you putting your attention and your focus in the right areas? Uh, are you leading by example in everything you do in the daytime? Are you being, you know, the people around you, those that, those that are close to you? Are you showing up? You know, I had to be a demonstration for my son by emailing the school and sat down and Talked, talked through the email as I structured it because I needed information from him. Um, you know, that's being a leader. I'm being a demonstration to him that we can communicate effectively in a really empowering way, but get our point across that, that um, you know, some things, the way we teach in schools needs to change. Mm. And uh, oh, don't get me started on the school okay, system. Let's move on. So I <laughs> Understanding this concept allows you to build a big organization in business and in life. It does. So you can build it as big as you want in life and in business. So are you being a leader? Ask yourself. You know, who am are I being? Are you being a leader? Yeah, absolutely. I'm Good. being a leader. Um, and, you know, you've, you've got to have leadership qualities and you attract people and inspire people and, and uh, be a part of people's growth and development. And that's exciting. Yeah. To, to be a part of that and to work with people and see them thrive in their life and see them achieve greater things in their life. Um, there's a lot of reward in that. There's, you know, there's no monetary reward that actually competes with that. It's, mm. it's unique on its own. Just that personal satisfaction of being a part of assisting others in creating something greater for themselves is self-rewarding. Absolutely. But it's a win-win. It's rewarding for them. Because they're creating change and you're just a part of that journey. So that's all about being that leader. It is. So that is our topic for this evening. Attention yeah. all leaders. So great that we had uh, a whole heap of leaders join us on the stream tonight. Yes, thank you leaders. <coughs> all of you. So I appreciate you being here. And uh, of course, what have, we, what have we got coming well, up? Well, we, we're starting our, we're not calling it a tour, but our... We're traveling around Australia, yeah, but uh, not, not in a caravan. No, we're not. Um, and we're, going we're, going to Sydney, to all parts. we're going to Sydney next weekend. We're going to all parts of Australia. Is it next weekend? Next weekend. Oh, my God. So our first leg of our so tour. We're, so we're going down to Sydney where it's freezing cold crazy. to catch up with a whole heap of our business associates who are going to come and see us. Yeah. On Sunday afternoon oh, in Sydney. Yeah, yes. So, All right, anyway, so, so we're starting so, the Simon Leanne tour. And we've got uh, we've got Sydney. We're going to we're going to Sydney well, twice Sydney, actually. Well, Sydney. But... Okay, so we're in this order. We're going <laughs> Sydney, uh, Brisbane, um, Adelaide, then Early Beach, Melbourne, Tasmania, Perth. Right. And Gold Coast is in there somewhere. Yeah, Gold Coast is in there as well. <laughs> 
So, uh, so we'll look forward to... Uh, Pacifico, <coughs> who's shouting the drinks? <coughs> well, you are Pacifico. You're shouting us drinks, aren't you? Yeah, isn't that what it's about? <laughs> It's about all that. Come all to the, the UK, it's warmer. Come to the UK. Well, funny, we're actually going to Portugal. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes. So Mark says, thanks for tonight. Go the Maroons. Thanks, Mark. Keep safe, Mark and Sandra in Melbourne. Yeah, look forward to it, Nicole. Um, actually, Nicole, pop us an email because we need to talk to you about um, we've booked where we're going and yeah, anyway, <coughs> we need to chat here. So pop, pop us an email to remind me. To info at simonandleanne.com. Yep. Um, all right, yeah. So we so we're excited about that. We've got yes. all the planning, and we. Oh, Ted says the loving life tour. <laughs> yeah, loving life tour. It is, it is Ted, and um, and of course, in amongst that, we're heading to Portugal yes. uh, for a couple of weeks. So uh, we've we've got a busy six months ahead of us, and before we know it, it'll be Christmas for us. Exactly. Um, but uh, but looking forward to it. Looking forward to catching up with a whole heap of people around uh, around our tour really fun. and. Um, a lot of people we haven't met before, which would be really cool. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, uh, you know, looking forward to that. But what do we got coming out this weekend? Just some family stuff. Got the kids here this some weekend. Family birthdays. Mick's birthday. Benny and Mick are coming Benny over. Benny and Mick. So Mick, Mick um, will do backflips. We're, we're working. Mick's not doing. Benny will, but Mick won't. Um, big, we, Mick, big said, <laughs> Mick said he can't even do forward rolls. <laughs> I can't do either either. So <laughs> I'll just watch and take photos. Uh, um, but yeah, that's it. And then next weekend, Sydney, and we're well. We got a whole new business schedule next week in our Ooh. business, so that's gonna that's gonna uh, be exciting. Yes, all new all new streams and a whole heap of stuff going on. So it's uh, that's what's throwing our whole Facebook thing out as well. Yeah. So we'll be back next Wednesday. So not the yes. same time, Wednesday same day. Next, next Wednesday, it will still be seven thirty p.m. Uh, Queensland time. So we'll look forward to catching up with you next Wednesday. Uh, on the Loving Life Now Facebook page and also streaming on TikTok. Um, so thanks, guys, for joining us. Really appreciate you being here. Have a wonderful evening. Stay warm, and uh, we'll see you next time. See you. Thanks, bye. Bye.